guys, so in today's tutorial, we're gonna make this super cute and quick candy corn plushie. It is literally super simple, perfect for beginners learning new skills and also really quick project. So it's perfect for markets or even a little gift. So let's get started. In today's video, you're going to need some scissors, some pins and a yarn needle, a four millimeter crochet hook, a stitch marker, chenille chunky yarn, and of course, some toy filling. So let's get started. We're gonna start with our white yarn, and row one consists of six single crochets and a magic ring. So how I do my magic ring is I loop my yarn around these two fingers like so. So I've got three different lines of yarn. I'm gonna go under these first two, with my hook and then I'm going to pull up this last loop and drag it through and then I'm going to yarn over and pull through. I'm going to do that six more times to get my six single crochets within this magic ring. So I'm going to go yarn under, pull through and then I'm going to single crochet as normal. I'm going to do that five more times. So I'm going to keep going under these first two loops and pull up and single crochet as normal. Feel free to find um, magic ring tutorials. This is just the way I prefer to do it, but I appreciate it's not for everyone. So once you've done your six single crochets, we're then gonna pull this loop closest to us and that's gonna drag this tail out. We're then going to pull this tail and that's going to close our magic ring. So we've now got our magic ring and it's tightly closed. We're going to take our stitch marker and place it in the loops closest to the crochet hook so that we know in round two, we're going to keep going until we get back to the start. So round two, we're going to do an increase and a single crochet until we get to a total of nine stitches. So in the first stitch, we're just going to do one single crochet. In the next stitch, we're going to do two single crochets to get an increase. So there's our first single crochet. We're going to go back into the same stitch and do another one. And then in the next stitch, we're just gonna do one single crochet, then two for an increase. So back into the same stitch and then the same again. So one single crochet and we'll remove our stitch marker to finish off with an increase. So two single crochets in this last stitch. So that's gonna give us nine stitches in total. Round three, we're just gonna single crochet nine. So we're just gonna do one single crochet into each stitch. So before we single crochet in the last stitch, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull through, but rather than finishing off our single crochet, we're gonna grab our orange yarn and we're gonna change colors. So like I say, we're halfway through our single crochet So we've got two loops on our hook and we're gonna grab our orange yarn and we're gonna hook it and pull through these two loops. So now we're gonna work with our orange yarn for the next few rounds. So for rounds four, we're gonna do two single crochets and an increase three times 
to get our total up to 12. So we're going to do a single crochet in the first two stitches. And then in the third stitch, we're going to do an increase. So two single crochets. We're going to do that two more times. So two single crochets. And then an increase. So we're going to place our stitch marker back in so we know where we're going to finish. Round five, we're just going to do 12 single crochets round. Okay, so we can now cut this white yarn off because we're not using it anymore and we can stuff it in the, in the top and just get it out of our way. So the last round of orange, we're going to do three single crochets and an increase again three times and that's going to take our total up to 15. So three single crochets and then an increase. And like we did with the white yarn, we're going to do our first single crochet and then we're about to finish our second single crochet of the increase but we're not going to finish off we're going to keep the two loops on our hook and we're going to change to yellow so like we did before we had two loops on our hook we're then going to draw up and pull the yellow through the two loops. So for the first round of the yellow, we're just gonna do 15 single crochets. So what I'm doing is I'm keeping these two tails in between while I single crochet, and that's just gonna secure them and prevent us from needing to weave them in or them coming loose. Once they're pretty much secure, you can just get them out of the way and carry on as normal. Round eight, we're gonna do four single crochets in an increase. Again, three times, and that's gonna take our total up to 18.
Again, we're gonna cut the orange on and tuck it in out of the way. And we're gonna do our last round, which is just gonna be 18 single crochets. So I've used um, eight millimeter safety eyes here. And once you're happy with the placement, we're then just gonna secure them in place with a safety back. Once you've got them secured, we're gonna stuff it lightly, not too much, but just enough to give it some shape. And then we're gonna cut the yellow yarn, leaving a long enough tail for us to sew the bottom shut. So we're just gonna sew the bottom two parts together to close off our little candy corn. We're gonna do that by going into a stitch on each side. I'm just pulling it tight. Once we've secured the bottom, we're then just gonna yarn off and secure in place. And we can just push the tail into the plushie just to hide it and get it out of the way. And then all we need now is a bit of acrylic yarn and we're just gonna cut a small piece off. And then we're gonna sew a tiny little mouth onto our candy. We're gonna go in from the side and then just in between the two eyes, what we can do is we can stitch a line and you go just a little bit down to almost form a triangle and before it gets too tight you're going to go back through and then we can pull it down Then we're gonna tie these together to secure them in place. And again, we can push it into the And there we have our cute little candy corn plushie. Super small and sweet, perfect for markets. 
hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial feel free to comment below any future tutorials you'd like to see and be sure to check out the other tutorials on my page thanks Thank you.